Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be making a short video on power management, specifically how to manage power when you have an M oops, mass fabricator. <laughs> I almost said MFU. But uh anyways, a mass fabricator. Um the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of people want to use a mass fabricator. But the problem is is that it can train as much power as you can put into it. So what do you do? Well, for a lot of people they like actually just placing uh, the power sources directly next to it um, and then cutting it off from the main power system. While this does work, there's a couple other methods of uh, managing power and I'm going to show that. So let's just make a quick array of those guys and plug it into a MFSU. Bam. So when you have power system like this, and let's make three for fun and you have much less power coming in than what this can output these three guys can output over 1500 EU a tick and uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing to get more uh, what's it called uh, more output capabilities than what you can input that's a perfectly fine way of playing but the problem is, is that you need to make sure that your mass fabricator over here doesn't draw your power completely dry and uh, there's a couple of other machines that tend to have really high power consumptions industrial blast furnaces come to mind as uh, one of them and uh, so instead of having to just put your power supplies or, or power sources I should say right next to them what you could instead use is instead use an intermediary like this little MFE so if I plug the MFE into that and then use a voltage transformer. I can now plug this into my main line and once this fills up, because this will draw as much power as it can to fill up as fast as possible, once this fills up this mass fabricator will only be able to use 128 EU a tick because of the MFE. Whereas the whole system, as we can see over here, generates 192 EU. What that means is that in the end once this guy's finished charging up, these guys will stop draining and will actually be able to charge up. And uh, this is pretty nice for a lot of people who uh, tend to not realize that you can use uh, your power supplies uh, or power source source uh, yeah power supplies sorry. Um, you can use them as a intermediary directly to the machine that you want to limit the power it consumes. Um, you could also honestly do this just by breaking this, getting that out of the way, and instead putting the medium voltage transformer here. Um, this has some, whoops, I need to rotate that the other way, putting the medium voltage transformer right there. This has some advantages. Um, one, you don't have to worry about it uh, having to build up the power, um, but the disadvantage is, as, as you can see here, this is consuming 512 EU a tick now. Now this is still less than the total that this outputs, but this is more than our generation amount. So let's say we get an ultimate hybrid solar panel here. Now we have this transformer here, and now this will consume 512, but because we're just generating more than 512, one of these at least should be powering up. Yeah, this one's the one powering up. So now there's actually a net power gain into the system, even though this is generating... Uh, or using up 512 EU, it's not using up all the EU they can provide. Now as we remember from the last video, or if you didn't watch it, um, these transformers will transform one 512 pulse into a four um, 128 pulses, which gives you 510 effective. If for instance you don't want that much and say you only want to use 128, you can just throw a medium voltage in first and then grab a low voltage, not a bat box, and throw a low voltage in between and this will effectively give you a limit of 128 again. Now, uh, this is just a little trick. This has the disadvantage, though, compared to using a power supply of the fact that there isn't a reserve power, um, particularly in the case of like mass fabricators and such. Um, you sometimes wouldn't wouldn't mind if they had a little bit of power just to themselves for when, like, say, night comes. Uh, they have a bit of power to drain out of rather than draining out of these guys and potentially draining your system at night. Having an MFE here would help take you through the night. But again, uh, this is just two different ways of doing it. Um, personally, I like using transformers uh, for the most part, um, either directly in the line um, or uh, by basically kind of creating like regulated networks. Um, for instance, 
say you have a, a series of power that you want to uh, power a bunch of uh, smaller machines, you can just put a uh, medium voltage transformer first, which I don't have on hand. You can put a medium voltage, then another low voltage, bam, like that. And now this line will only have 128 EU a tick to draw from for whatever machine you might want to plug that into. For instance, say you want to plug it into an electric engine or something set up for uh, whatever not. This kind of can help you limit the power draw of, sy of systems that can pull more power than what you want. But this is a little more bulky, as you can see, and you can only limit it to uh, 128. If you, say, place a bat box there, you can actually limit it to 32. So uh, that's just two different ways of doing it. So anyways, thank you guys, and have a good day. And uh, if you guys have any questions about the uh, game that you'd like me to cover specifically, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you.